don't oh wanna God. see me fall I even focus on the door I don't really give a damn about what they talking about the rank door the motherfucking deal youtube this your boy dante sports talk live streams please comment like and subscribe on this video i thank y'all guys for supporting the channel we at a hundred we at 470 subs 500 i'm doing a uh 20 dollar giveaway at 500 subs so thank y'all guys for y'all love and the support i am moving up there i really appreciate that love uh shout out to my princess aka honey buns uh, thank you so much for saying I'm so amazing. You the GOAT. Uh, shout out to you. Shout out to Miss Shannon. Shout out to my friend Curly Fries, a.k.a. Miss Curly. Shout out to everybody. Uh, shout out to my boy Jerron King, my boy Playboy KD, who's a part of my Try Hard team now. Uh, shout out to my CEO Zion. Shout out to my boy Wilson the Name. Shout out to everybody, man, that uh, support me. Shout out to my boy King. Always shout out to y'all, man. Let's get right into this uh video. Um, now we're here on another review. Uh, three teams in the Western Conference win 30, win 33 and 49. Uh, like I said, uh, I think the Pelicans win 33 and 49. I think uh, it was another team that I did win 33 and 49. Uh, but that shows you how tough the Western Conference is. You can't take no breaks. Every team is really good in the Western Conference, so. That's why I say, oh uh, man, the Western Conference is a tough, the toughest conference. They the beast of the uh, NBA, and we're talking about another team that really had a uh, good season. But the Western Conference is so tough. Every team uh, that was in the AC, that was one through eight, was really better than this team. This team was really a young team, and they got a great head coach who knows how to uh, win basketball games. Uh, like I say, uh, this team is no longer than is none other. Then the 2018-2019 uh, Dallas Mavericks, I thought they competed well. They traded one of their best players, one of their best players, Harrison Barnes. They traded Wesley Matthews uh, for Tim Hardaway Jr. and uh, Christoph Porzingis. They traded DeAndre Jordan. Uh, Christoph Porzingis was out with Achilles, with, I think, with a torn ACL. He's coming back strong this year. Him and Luca Doncic is going to be a tough, going to be a tough time. I'm picking roll time. Luca Doncic really impressed me, man, this year. Uh, they had some great wins this year. How about that 31 com point comeback against the Atlanta Hawks in the Al in Atlanta, and the two wins against the Houston Rockets, one in Toyota Center where they just wiped the Rockets right off the floor, and the Luka Doncic scores 10 points in the final two minutes of the game, and pl plus a uh, a clutch three over Clint Capella. So they finished 33 and 49. Uh, the head coach was Coach Rick Carlisle, who who won the championship with the Dallas Mavericks them years again with J Dirt Nowitzki and Jason Tatum. Not I mean Dirt Nowitzki and Jason Terry and JJ Varela. JJ Varela played pretty pretty good. They signed that boy back, uh, the White Powell, who's pretty good. Uh, they signed him back. Uh, Tomorrow the way Junior was inconsistent last year, but he was okay in certain spurts. Uh, the the um executive is Donnie is Donnie Nelson Don I think Don Nelson Don Nelson they averaged a hundred and eight points per game that's twenty first in the NBA that was they was uh that was pretty poor that was pretty poor they they couldn't score the ball like that they gave up a hundred and ten points per game that's thirteen that's thirteenth in the NBA out of thirty teams I guess that's okay uh their pace of play wasn't good they was twentieth out of thirty teams uh the offensive efficient offensive rating was twentieth in the league. 100.9.4, and the defense uh, was terrible. Defense was uh, cruised. Um, 110.7, 18th in the league. Let's get right into the offensive MVP. And it's no, no, none other than Luka Adonchis. Luka Adonchis was very, very good. He is the offensive MVP for the uh, Dallas Mavericks this year. He played very, very well, man. I thought this guy was consistent the whole year. They traded Den Dennis Smith Jr., uh, who, who, who uh, to the uh, New York Knicks? So that means when they traded Luca, Dennis Smith Jr. was not happy in um in getting upset. They ended up trading him. Uh, Harrison Barnes, even though it was traded to Sacramento, he ended up resigning in Sacramento. Luca Doncic averaged uh twenty one point two points per game. He averaged six assists a game. He averaged uh let me see hold on hold on guys. He averaged uh seven rebounds a game. He averaged six assists a game. That's pretty good. Luca, um, Luca Adonchis, thirty-two percent from the three-point line, 
50% from the field. That's my offensive MVP for the Dallas Mavericks, Tim Hardaway Jr., 15.5 points per game. Uh, he shot, let me see, 32% from the three-point line. Dennis Smith, I mean, one of, I mean, Tim Hardaway Jr. is one of those guys that can shoot you in a game or shoot you out of a game. But uh, like I said, he was inconsistent. Dorian Finney-Smith, who's a 3 and D player, who I really like for the Dallas Mavericks, averaged 7.5 points per game. Uh, he shot 31% from the three-point line. You, need, you got to improve on that. How about Jalen Brunson, the uh, rookie out of uh, Villanova? He played very, very well. I love Jalen Brunson. Someone who can post up, who can hit tough shots, who can shoot the outside shot. Jalen Brunson is a really tough guard, bro. Uh, Jalen uh, Brunson averaging 9.3 points per game. Um, Average 9.3 points per game. Very, very good for Jalen Brunson. Uh, 34% from three-point line. Dwight Powell averaged 10.6. That's pretty good. Uh, how about uh, Maxi Cleaver? Very, very good this year. I like the Maxi Cleaver. Average 7 points per game. JJ Verrell averaged 11 points per game. Justin Jackson was uh, traded to, from Sacramento to Dallas. He averaged 8 points per game. Uh, Trey Burke was very, very good as well. Averaged 10 points per game. Devin Harris was good. So, like I say, Dirt and Whiskey was good. So, like I say, they was well balanced out. They a well coached team. But, like I say, I think they're going to have a good year this year. I think they're going to be one of those teams that can compete for the eighth spot. Uh, up there with San Antonio. Um, up there with San Antonio. And, uh, like I say, and those type of teams right there. Those type of teams that's in the Western Conference. The Western Conference is so tough. Yeah, three teams to go 33 and uh, 49. Like I say, the Dallas Mavericks are going to be in the, uh, in the uh, a good team this year. It's going to be a good team. I got a feeling. Luka, Doncic, Porzingis, that's that's a dangerous tandem. And I can't wait to see that tandem, man. Like I say, Dallas, that shows you how tough uh, the Western Conference is. When you got three teams go 30, 33 and 49, that's not even bad. That's pretty considered a, a good, a pretty almost a good year. But that means you had eight other teams that were better than you. Uh, so, But like I said, I thought Dallas Mavericks last year competed. I thought they played well. I saw some new strides in the young players like Jalen Brunson, uh, Justin Jackson and Luca Dunst especially he he put he took the top roof off the top uh, last year uh, like I said and he he really impressed me like I said Dallas Mavericks finished 39 33 and 49 uh, uh, co head coach Rick Carlisle who's a championship winning coach who uh, motivates guys to play Don Nelson was the executive but the only thing that hurt them. They couldn't stop nobody. They couldn't score too much on the offensive side of the basketball. You have to score on the offensive side of the basketball to really be successful. Defense wins championship, but you got to put up points in this NBA. You have to put up points. You have to be able to hit threes. And Dallas Mavericks couldn't do that consistently. Uh, that's the only thing that hurt them. Uh, they averaged uh, 108 points per game. That is 21st in the NBA. That shows you that was not good. That's not they, that's out of not, not other teams uh, was bad. Uh, 110 points per game. They can stop people, but the offense will let them down. So that's the end of the video, guys. Comment, like, and subscribe on this video, guys. I think the Dallas Mavericks are going to be okay. I think they're going to be fine. I think they're going to be in it in the West. Uh, I think they're going to be one of those teams that fight for the AC. Comment, like, and subscribe on this video. Let me guys know what y'all think about the Dallas Mavericks season last year. And what y'all going to think about them this year. Are they going to be a playoff team or are they going to uh, be a team that can compete the whole year? I thought they had an okay season last year. Comment, like, and subscribe. Shout out to Miss Princess Fame, a.k.a. My Princess, my honey bun. Shout out to uh, Jerron the King, Miss Curly. Shout out to uh, Miss Shannon. Shout out to you. Shout out to my boy King. Shout out to my CEO Zion, my boy Chula Ankles, and my boy Playboy KD. Uh, great run last night. Uh, shout out to my boy Dre as well. Uh, shout out to everybody. Thank you, guys. I am out. Peace. Much love, guys.